Turn 27, January 2nd, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage Lodric can do to us. All right, auto flipping a dot base and the Solomons. Alrighty. Looks like the knife phase went, was, was unev uneventful. Yep. Looks like we got some decent nav search going on. Bombing the hell out of more Chinese troops. Par for the course. Ouch, that one hurt. <coughs> an airfield at Singers. My guess is 20,000 since very little damage. Yep, looks like we killed one. Anything other than China action. Nope, not so far. And more attacks on singers. Tons of recon going on in China. All right. That was the PM phase. Well, we located the enemy sub. Or did he locate us and refuse to attack? 
Yep, he located us and refused to attack. Okay. Up. Oh. Armored car. Ah, uh, the fourth marine unit. The fate. Chusen. Ah, uh, he did push me out. All right. I'm not sure how that's retreating to the west. Vision versus a core. Help I attack next turn. Did we surrender? Or be destroyed? Destroyed. Alright, you know, either way, it's the same for us. 30 days, we get him back. sure how this is going to end up. Nope, we still held. Fort's down to one, though. Bombarding us at Kukong. He has two full divisions there and a bunch of artillery. Surprise there. Yep, he'll take this. Ah, his Marines are failing against me. It's that terrain. Terrain's helping us out. Pretty much even, even losses though. He'll kick your ass here. Oh, and the 107.3 surrenders. Okay. We're bombarding. I need to turn that off. All right. Not a bad turn. We're going to watch the, well, I guess that was all the base facilities increasing. We'll let the production phase go through, and then I'll pause the, I'll pause the video, save it off, get, gather some intel, and we'll be back for the after action. Alrighty, not a super eventful turn, not a whole lot happening. We lost some bases, but as to be expected. Let's go over some stats here. Score-wise, Japan went up 152 points. Uh, we went down four. Most of that was probably due to the units that he beat up and the bases that he, that he captured. Let's go ahead and look. We lost zero aircraft. They lost three. Let's take a look at those losses. Let's see a Sonya, a Dinah, and a Sally. Okay. Incoming group uh, air units for us. <clears throat> Next turn, we get a bunch of P-40s in eastern U.S. 
which U.S. Second U.S. Fighter Command, which I believe that is unrestricted, so we can definitely get those moving somewhere, somewhere useful. Uh, let's go back in there, and then we get some Hudson's and Aiden next couple of days. All right, and then in a week we get some some more P40s down in down in Brisbane. Those are probably restricted, but that's fine. They re, re they could be restricted down in Australia. That's good. We can use them there. All right, then we get a bunch of hurricanes in 10, 11 days. My guess is those will not be restricted. Does not look like they are. Those we can also use, and some Blenheims. Blenheims. Can we get those into India, into northern, into southern India? We can use those there as well. All right. Air units going going to Europe. We got those uh, Bolos in Fresno that'll go out. Some B-17s in San Fran. And a bunch of P-39s in Seattle and B-17s in Spokane. A bunch of stuff that's restricted right now and really useless to us as they are. Alrighty. Ships sunk. I do not believe any new ships were sunk last turn. Nope. So the same old as before, our uh, incoming ship, 67 days to the Hornet. And nothing really, it's a bunch of AKs. Yeah, a bunch of Murchies coming up. Until 12 days, we get some Royal Navy ships, some destroyers, heavy cruiser, and a battleship. And then in 12 days, we get a bunch of subs. Okay, including some Dutch subs and some U.S. subs, it looks like. Then a ton of AKs, constant AKs, look at that. Some more motor launches. At 14 days, we get a British CV. All right. Units going away. These are all convoys that have not arrived yet. Five days to this convoy arrives. This is going to bring me, let's see, some combat engineers, some guns, a bunch of British infantry, and artillery. Okay. We still have not done much with the destroyed units. I need to look at those. We lost the uh, New Caledonia and another base force got popped off. New Caledonia. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's worth buying back. 107th Naval Force. Where would he come back at? In Aden. I don't know. I need to take a take a look look at that and make some de decisions and actually do do something with with those. Hop on into the map. Let's take a look around. India is fine at the moment. He uh, doesn't have nothing there. Although KB is missing an action. I haven't seen KB for f four turns maybe. I believe she's still down in the South South Pacific. Mini KB could be anywhere. He has Pegu. He's moving towards Rangoon. He did not arrive. So he must be waiting for all of them to go together. Which is good because... You can see these guys are all but out, all but out. Uh, all three of these units will be out of there. So Rangoon will be empty when he moves into it, which is fine by me. He can he can have it. You can't really hold any of Bur any of Burma in the early war. Move on down into Malaya. Nothing going on here, other than we have still have Singapore, and these guys are still moving. Are they still in move mode? Yeah, they are. Okay. Sumatra, where he was moving units around. Java, same thing. Borneo, same type of thing. He took Beaufort last turn. So he has all of the oil on the northern northern phase. I'm wondering if he's going to come right around the horn, just start heading down. It's hard to say what he's going to do, though. Everyone's game is a little bit different. I don't know much about Lodric's play style, so I really can't answer that. Definitely looks like he's moving to Bataan. Every day he doesn't move there. The other day we, I don't know, we keep the base. 
It's not worth that much though. He landed at on at the uh, on Cebu here. Or not, no, that's Cebu, isn't it? No. Uh, I'm not sure. There's Cebu, okay. He landed on this island, so he'll come up and take take it. I wonder if he'll leave troops here. I wonder if I do 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 other Japanese player garrison these, or they just let them sit there and and, and lose the points. Mindanao untouched, Celebes pretty much untouched, except for the except for Man Manado Air Air Base and the dot base next to it. Nothing's come farther south. It's my my little AMs and that that I'm trying to save out of Java and Sumatra and such are slowly moving their way down, hooking up with other ships and, and, and cross-refueling. Hopefully we'll get them into Australia. See a lot of ships here moving west. Come over into the New Guinea, New Britain, Solomon area. Not a whole lot going on here. We got more, the rest of the troops out of Port Moresby have arrived at the Buna. What's left here? Got two guys left there. He's flipped a couple dot bases in here. He landed at Efate. He'll take that this next turn. Potty auto flip it. He has all new all of New Caledonia other than dot bases and this little base up here. So far, nothing else. KB has not been spotted, which is kind of good. I am kind of worried it might just show up anywhere and maul all my ships that I have them running. But <clears throat> this is what it is. Down here, I got two convoys of with some little, with some supplies and fuel heading to Australia. There's the Saratoga right there. Lexington's right here. Wonder why she's only moved that far. She should have moved a little bit farther, but. Lexington's heading back to Pearl to for repair. She has some, some major damage. And flooding, unfortunately, that no one else can face it because none of the bases, <clears throat> none of the repair yards in Australia are large enough. So then I also have a few other convoys heading into heading heading to the South Pacific. I need to probably fire up, up a few more now that we've got some more AKs. I'm waiting for the rest of these AKs to arrive from from from, from uh, Panama up to the west coast. We'll fill them up and then get them move, 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 moving. Yorktown is still sitting in San Diego. There she is. Commerce is waiting for escorts and a real reason to get her get her moving. Pearl is okay up north. We're just uh, resupplying bases. And well, let's take a look. All looks like most of the subs that fled uh, Manila have arrived at Pearl. They will be getting repaired. Just go in here. We'll look in the. You see, we got the two battleships that were mauled by the damn uh, midget subs. I still can't believe he got two hits. We got three subs uh, from Manila being re repaired and a handful more that just arrived. That'll be getting repairs. Here's a few more coming in. Then up here is all the regular ships fleeing. They should all make it. I may have to send a ship or two out to cross refuel so they, so they have enough fuel to make it. But other than that, there should be no threat out here. Let's go up into China, which is really kind of a mess. He did not attack here. I wonder if he doesn't have enough force. I wonder if I should sit here. I'll have to think about, about that. 8, 10, 21 units, but he's been splitting everything up and a lot of these are like those little 50s and 20 assault strength units. We got a decent amount at in Cyan. We're building forts. We got more units fleet uh, moving to Cyan, trying trying to get there. In the south, not a whole lot's going on. But 
but that's basically what's going on here. Nothing exciting, nothing great. Just what it is. These guys are leaving Wen Chao about halfway out. Another couple of days, they should be out of Wen, Wen Chao, and then he'll take that. Then he'll just chase me. Hoping to come down, if I can, come down through these bases here. They're lightly, lightly garrisoned. There's a couple static units there that he can't retreat that we can, we can destroy. And so if I possibly even come over to Hong Kong and uh, re and, and re and, and retake it. I know those are wishful thinkings, but you never know. But that's pretty much the turn. If you enjoyed watching it with me, please go ahead and click on the on the like like button. If you're following this campaign along or my one against Helsin and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscription button. It doesn't cost you nothing. You can subscribe to all, you know, 27 billion people on YouTube if you want, but it does make my numbers look a little better for every person that does it, which means we get a little more exposure, which means the game gets more exposure, more people see it, more people might buy it. Just help the community along. But until the next video, our turn, you guys have yourself a great day, and we will see you later.